How you doing? My name is Vince Staples, and this is my story. All right, so I got this friend named Malcolm, right? And we had did a mixtape once. And Malcolm called me like three days before he went on tour and said, you know, let's go on tour. And I said, okay. So, you know, I packed my little bag. I didn't have much to put in the bag. I never been on tour before. I go on the bus and it's full of probably like 15, 16 people on the nine, 10 bunk bus. So, you know, good times. You know, you got Dave, you got Clockwork, you got Jimmy, you had, you know, Vinny, Come Up Boys. Everybody was on the bus. But we went to St. Louis. And you know, that's like the middle towards the end of the tour. Everybody's tired, everybody wants to go home. So you're not paying attention to much things. So I wake up one morning and I see a girl on the bus. And I say, how you doing? Good morning. She says, good morning. What did the girl look like? Black Velma from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> a week passes and then I wake up in the morning and I see a girl on the bus. And I say, good morning. And she says, good morning. And I introduce myself. She says, we met before. So that's when I get the crazy face. So I ask Clockwork, who's that girl? He says he doesn't know. I ask Jimmy, who's that girl? He doesn't know. I ask Earl, who's that girl? He doesn't know. So my friend Malcolm, we wake him up and say, who's that girl? And he said he didn't know that it was the same one. He didn't know she was still here. It was just some sick shit. Like, and I was scared, Loki. I don't know. She could have been like a serial killer or something and just took us all out. So the girl comes off of the bus and we ask her, where does she live? And she lives in two states over. So she's back on the bus. And she started making food. I'm talking sandwiches, cereal, you know, Uncle Ben's rice. Just uncomfortable, weird shit that nobody really know kind of felt like was her place to do. So we had to pick who was gonna send her home and nobody wanted to send her home. So I said, I'll do it. I said, no one knows you. And then she looked at me and then Dave was like, yeah, you better go home, sweetheart. Then she was like, what? And I was like, nah, like nobody knows you. And she's like, but I can't get home. And I was like, you can take the bus. So. We tried to send her home on the train. She doesn't have an ID. So she doesn't have an ID, she can't get on the train. We find a random dude to take her home. He says all he wants is to smoke weed with Mac Miller and take two pictures. And the dude looked like, uh, it looked like Charles Manson, kind of kind of creepy. Uh, his friend looked like Justin Bieber. And they were just real like, really, they just really wanted to smoke some weed with Mac Miller. And like, it was awkward, because the bus is just quiet. And it's like, they just smoking in, in silence. And then the girl's like just looking, like wondering if she's really gonna have to leave. So he takes two pictures, smokes some weed, and drives her about 15 hours out of the way to go home. And nobody knew who she was. I don't even know her name. It was like when it was like Roots. You ever seen the movie Roots? It felt like Roots, man. I felt like I turned on my own kind. What did you learn from this story? Lock the bus. Lock the bus. The best thing to do in middle school was um, stink bombs and mooning. See, mooning was real big back then, you know, where you would show somebody your ass. So that was the thing to do. Everybody showed everybody their ass.